Top of the morning to you, Thursday, a little bit before noon, Eastern Time, episode 382, No Edits Crypto, three stories, market update, a lot going on as uh, some alts took off yesterday, but first, the news, this is from Yogita Khatri of Coindesk Binance Partners with Crypto Lending and Borrowing Firm Cred. Binance Exchange is teaming up with Cred to offer cryptocurrency lending and borrowing services across its ecosystem. As part of the, of the arrangement, California-based Cred will migrate a portion of its native LBA token to Binance's blockchain network, Binance Chain, according to announcement on Wednesday. Binance Chief Growth Officer Ted Lin said the, that as Binance Chain has a one-second block time, it will help Cred scale its operations to more markets and users and ensure transactions are fast, efficient, and effortless. Cred offers two services, borrow and earn, according to information from its website. The former allows users, users to borrow fiat currencies with cryptocurrencies as collateral, while the, the, while the latter offers interest rates on deposited cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies. The firm is backed by investors including Binance Labs, in Arrington XRP Capital and claims to have already secured over 300 million in lending capital according to the announcement. So that story uh, as uh, Binance continues to um, grow their crypto empire, the, turning into the Amazon of uh, the crypto space it seems here in early 2019 as they're doing all sorts of stuff right now with uh, new projects launching on their exchange and uh, teaming up with a uh, host of different companies and in, in, in uh, innovating in the space. Second story is Bitcoin hash rate nears all time high to drive price higher. Bitcoin price drew closer to 9,000 May 30th as fundamentals data uh, revealed the network was nearing new records for hash rate, daily transactions, and block size. According to monitoring resource blockchain.com, this is from the Bitcoinist, as of press time, Bitcoin's hash rate had beaten off its bear market slump from 2018 to approach a new all time high. On Wednesday, the overall hash rate reached just short of 58 million terahashes per second, a number surpassed only a handful of times, such as at the beginning of this month. The impressive performance follows a slow clawback from activity lows with hash rate bottoming around the second week of December last year. At the time, Bitcoin was approaching its bear market low of around 3100 Now, Bitcoin price 8717 USD has rebounded to 8730 at press, but is still far below its level seen in 2017. Despite that, at the time, hash rate was considerably weaker. As Bitcoin is reported, such a status quo has given rise to, big, to suggestions Bitcoin is undervalued and that its technical strength is now unsurpassed compared with any point in its history. While the, bull, uh, while the uh, Bitcoin bull market continued through May, sources further noted hash rate was becoming more distributed among smaller mining participants. As Bitcoin's hash power continues in steady growth nearing highs, major pools whose tussle for solving blocks looks all but plateaued month in and month out, crypto industry newsletter Dai reported. Smaller mining pools have made significant gains in the past few months as unknown miners either drop off or join the tribe. So everything uh, is suggesting Bitcoin is going to continue its ascent here, uh, even if it does do a minor, uh, minor pullback or retraces even up to some say 50%, I don't think it'll be that bad, maybe 30 something percent on the Fibonacci, but uh, Fibonacci retracement, but um, we'll have to wait and see where that pullback comes if we get into double digits first, or uh, uh, five digits first, or um, if it comes before 10K. Third story is one that I wrote, uh, I mentioned in my article this week for Creative Destruction Media. The uh, volume in uh, Venezuela and Argentina is really taking off in cryptocurrency as they're using it as a hedge against hyperinflation. Bitcoin trading volume skyrockets in Latin America. Value hits all-time high in Argentina. Weekly peer-to-peer -peer trading volume in Latin America. Bitcoin market has risen steeply, according to data provided by LocalBitcoins.com. 
The over-the-counter Bitcoin trading portal found that Argentina, Chile, Mexico, Colombia, Peru, and Venezuela are posting more offline trading activity than that reported on the global average scale. Measured against lo their local fiat currencies, the volumes appeared higher even during the 2018 uh, cryptocurrency crisis, wherein Bitcoin lost more than 70% of spot market valuation. Even the countries with noted, uh, which noted a minor drop in trading volumes last year picked up momentum this year in 2019. That might have to do with Bitcoin's un exceptional rebound during the second quarter of this year. The cryptocurrency surged more than 120% since April 1st to settle a fresh yearly high of 89.50. The move uh, brought Bitcoin's net bottom recovery to 135% according to real-time data provided by Mazari.io. So, countries which are suffering from uh, the worst sort of repressive statism and uh, monetary ills of central banking such as the Argentine Central Bank or the Central Bank of Argentina are looking for a way to uh, store value and trade in uh, sound money and they're looking toward uh, cryptocurrency now. Into the market Bitcoin up 0.08% $8,703 Ethereum up 4.26% $282.78 Bitcoin Cash up 3.26% $466.87 EOS up 0.16%, $8.09. Litecoin up 0.4%, 116 or 117.01. Binance Coin up 0.4%, 33.69. Monero up 1.6%, $96.36. Dash up one or 2.75%, uh, 172.89. Ethereum Classic up 3.44%, $8.62. Neo up 6.47%, $14.51. To Steam, which is currently pushing closer to 50 cents at 43 cents, up 2.91%. Steam beginning its bounce back, which I've been long anticipating now. And lastly, Flash at 0 0.0023 cent, down 13.13 cents against fiat the last 24 hours. The dollar, the U.S. dollar, and Bitcoin dominance has dropped below 56% to 55.44%, which leads me to believe we are on the brink of possibly another big alt move here as uh, Bitcoin trades sideways. Market cap. For the entire market, uh, aggregate market cap, $278,500,089,000. That is the show for today. Everybody enjoy your day.